It's always interesting when fans become a part of the show in wrestling. Usually this is done by reacting and chanting. But for this video, we're focusing on jeers and chants that came from specific individuals in the crowd rather than large groups. Guys. It was easy to see how distracted he was. Uh, he's definitely not a fighting champion. Some will be funny, some will be disrespectful, while others warranted responses from the wrestlers themselves. Today, we'll look at numerous savage and funny shouts from fans. First, we're going to look at fans who made their presence known at the perfect moment, courtesy of some funny shouts that could be heard on camera. Sure, fans comedically shouting may potentially take away from serious moments, but oftentimes it simply enhanced what we were seeing, especially if the segment in question was no good to begin with. You took the US title as a demotion. Triple H, Shawn Michaels, Randy Orton. You talk about all those people like they are so much better than me. The only one you can trust in this world is yourself. Long after my death, ECW will live on. There's always a plan B. Oh my God! Sting will be bigger than he has ever been before. He's there! And he's there! Enjoy. Pound big show. Until you learn how to pronounce my name. Fandango. And War Raiders just manhandling their opposition. Oh my goodness. I don't sound like Jim Ross. Who was the guy they fired in the first place? That makes sense, right? So I swallow the bitter pill. Come on, man. Don't be a man. This is a funny business. Not funny, ha ha, but a funny business nonetheless. Yeah, got that right. You know, <laughs> situation where neither can afford to lose. We saw Shawn Michaels step away as the Undertaker approached Triple H. Let's not forget about the warning the Undertaker showed both Shawn Michaels. Indeed, it is. My house, AJ. Do you know who this is? My attorney. I'll do to him whatever I want. What? Oh my God! You can make that check out to the most destructive three letters in sports entertainment. Who preferred hurting to hugging. Watch this. Oh, oh man. One of the greatest stars in the history of Japanese wrestling to NXT. Push our own agendas. But for you. Now, while some fan shouts can be viewed as funny, some can be insulting and funny at the same time. I looked in his eyes and I saw something that I haven't seen before, but it's fine. And I have half the brain that you do. Can you but look? I think Marlena behind to the top rope. Oh, so a high risk move. Get a fucking haircut, Hippie. Should have to. Oh, and what's going through that the mind of the Undertaker right now? How do you think it makes me feel? Oh, 
Ethan Horn's also had some issues. Bro's oh. gonna launch Bridge. Buys Dean some time. Allows him to regroup. But one thing I do know is if I get to face you, something that I have been living with for quite some time. But then there's times when chants can get a little too close for comfort, such as when a fan interjected during Brutus Beefcake's promo after Beefcake returned from a life-threatening parasailing accident. They weren't giving me much of a chance. I was laying there. Some shouts can come across as insulting and in poor taste. Like when someone screamed at Bret Hart during Bret's heartfelt speech on Nitro after his brother Owen had passed away. Next, we'll look at what happens when wrestlers decide to respond to vocal fans. Very well, have done your mom. But the fact is, nobody really knows what goes on inside my mind. Yeah, thank God. The rock says this. Oh, it matters what the rock says. <laughs> So what? I did sell out. I sold out Madison Square Garden. Nobody would, nobody would even care in the United States. And your point would be what? Nice language. Do you teach your children the same talk? I see no women out here and you're chanting about a male organ now tell me who's the fruit booty your mother taught me how sean is gay sean is not gay why don't you go and ask your mama if sean is gay oh man what are they saying mcmahon what I don't think it's complimentary. Why don't you ask your sister and your mama how gay Sean is? and you're from Hartford, you'll say, that's my point. I said, how's he truly gonna feel? Are you deaf or something? They're deaf. Winning just becomes easy. If you're a failure, say what? My point exactly. I say something and they say? 
They're reciting something stupid from 20 years ago, but they can't help themselves. When Seamus... When Seamus... When Seamus... Y'all all a bunch of puppets. You all sound like a bunch of ducks. What? 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 <laughs> Shut up while I'm talking. I tell you what, why don't you say what if you like to sleep with your own sister? But once again, these interactions aren't always in good fun. Here we have a few examples of things fans said that made wrestlers legitimately angry, including the time someone heckled John Moxley after Mox returned from alcohol rehab. A little while ago. Hey, go fuck yourself. Get that guy out of here. Piece of shit. Sami Zayn once got into it with a fan who made homophobic remarks. <laughs> Kevin Owens is one of the most fan interactive wrestlers there's ever been. KO loves to acknowledge and play off specific people in the crowd, leading to numerous fun moments. Try to drive away. Let me let you in on something. Ten years ago, we met each other on a tour in Germany. They, they Bringing it back to the test of strength. That's this wrestling, you fuck face! Get back to Canada! Get back to Canada! Get out of here! I'll go back to Canada, you go back to screwing your sister, you stupid rock! You know what? Don't go by this shirt. I don't want you to wear Kevin on the shirt and I'm trying to touch you. It really doesn't matter because you'll be dead in about five years. Hecklers were quite common in the original ECW, where they would end up getting verbally berated by the likes of Taz and the Dudley Boys. Shut up, you short fat You fat Where's your bra? Come on! You got the balls to throw a chair? Come on in the ring, you Take one punch. Here's your 15 seconds of fame, wise Take a shot at me! We got a mom in the front row who taught her daughter how to s Come on, you fat ball How did he know his name? A woman in the crowd once disrespected a 10 bell salute for Rick Rude. She was eventually kicked out, but not before being torn a new one by Bubba Ray. Your fat white people in the ass and throw it out the f***ing 
On one occasion, Taz was cutting a promo putting over the ECW wrestlers that he'd trained. A fan then screamed that Taz should suck them off, resulting in a fiery response from the human suplex machine. Uh, if I was sucking it CM Punk is famous for his interactions with fans, so much so that we've also dedicated a whole section to his run-ins with audience members. These exchanges range from light-hearted Insulting. Which, real quick, is 16 more times than this fat guy has ever gotten screwed in his life. Threatening. Sir, you paid your ticket. You want to boo, that's fine. But I dare you to step in between these ropes. I dare you, fat so. Come on. Be a man or sit down and be a bitch and shut your mouth. Fuck up the face of CM Punk. I don't think so, kid. No. He's daring that kid. Vicious. Wow. And even violent. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out our similar video on 25 minutes of wrestlers hilariously breaking character. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.